Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannon's Club, your local Holden Certified Service Centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online. G'day, I'm Fletch and welcome as I bring you to Brisbane in Queensland. After almost three decades of operating out of Brisbane branches, a while ago Shannon's moved into a larger state-of-the-art headquarters. So now it's time to share the passion in this week's Classic Restos on the Road. Some of you may have seen this new Shannon's premises, but if you haven't, it's a sight to behold. Back in 2021, in line with the Shannon's milestone of their 40th anniversary auction, this state-of-the-art auction house facility was opened. It followed just 12 months after the opening of the equally impressive Sydney facility. Located at 107 Fison Avenue West at Eagle Farm, just off the Gateway Motorway and five minutes from Brisbane Airport, marks Shannon's entry into Queensland classic auctions and vehicle sales. This new building has been designed to deliver a better customer experience, with features including a Shannon's clubhouse that will host car club meets and other motoring functions a well-equipped customer lounge, on-site car parking facilities and greater capacity to support the growth of Shannon's insurance, events and national auctions businesses. The building also incorporates a larger area to accommodate the Shannon's growing insurance team with facilities for vehicle inspections and revaluations for customers. Shannon's presence in Queensland represents more than 100 state events and more than 1,200 motoring events around Australia each year. And this new facility sets a benchmark for the Australian classic vehicle market. Let's go take a look. Once you're inside here, it's a whole new world that awaits you. Any type of enthusiast, be it bike, car or truck, has an immediate effect on you as soon as you walk into a facility such as this. Check on shannons.com.au for the next up and coming auction. The cars on display at Shannon's are absolutely fantastic. It's the presentation, the quality, they never fail. What I love about walking in here is the variance of what you will see. From 1960s Benzes through to a Lincoln over the back, a two door Continental, We've got an EK Holden Ute over there as well. How rare is that? And have a go at the condition of it. And of course, if you're into your bikes, you're not forgotten either. From classic Ducatis through to Suzuki's, there's always something here for you at a Shannon's auction. Time now for a fletchy walk around. Let's pick on this one first. We've got a, a fourth month 1980 HZ here. HZs running from 77 through to about the end of mid-1980. This is a classic example of the cars prior to our SUVs. These were the, the family trucksters. These were the cars that took the kids to school, put boats on the back, caravans, went on holidays. They were our domestic runners and uh, many years ago I guess we'd look at these and maybe look the other way. They might not have meant much but isn't it funny how all these years down the track we look at something like this and as a wagon it just looks so cool. We've got our Venetian blinds in the back, we have our luggage rack up on top, chrome at that and it just looks nice, doesn't it? Uh, this particular car, not that it really matters, 278,000 Ks, you know we buy a classic car as long as the body's okay and they've been looked after but that, that would be original kilometres 
of the car as well. The interior, the original tan interior, not too bad, pretty good condition. We've got no splits in the dash pad up there. That looks nice as well. These are the things I think interior wise that we have to look at. Looks like it's had paint once upon a time. It's not a bad job. The paint it still feels really thick, a lot of luster in there. This is a nice looking wagon. If you saw it going down the freeway, it'll just stand out. The original um, uh, full face wheel covers, the dress rims are on the car as well. I think that's really neat too. So what we have is a fairly original car, untouched, not really molested in any way. And you might think to yourself, well, okay, what has it got? Are we running a red engine here? Are we running the last of the, the reds, a 202 or a 253, perhaps a 308? But no, I walked around, lifted up the bonnet and got a bit of a shock. Here, we have an LS. <laughs> uh, what a sleeper. This, this totally surprised me. Here we have the family truckster in its fairly stock standard trim until you pop the bonnet. Uh, so there you go, that's what's been done to this car. It's something different. It's all about variety. An example of what you'll find at a Shannon's auction. A car like this is also, it's iconic. It reflects an era of Australian manufacturing. We're very proud of that. And the assembly plants where these cars were built, as a fun fact, Acacia Ridge in Queensland, Elizabeth in South Australia, it was uh, Dandenong in Victoria and Pagewood, New South Wales, also over at uh, Trentham in New Zealand. And what a time! Cars were built here in Australia. They made comedy TV shows reflecting these cars. Ted Bullpit, Kingswood Country. You're not taking the Kingswood, I've just glad wrapped the tow bar. Or you're not taking the Kingswood, you can take the Mercedes. The big blue one with a conductor. What an era. I've been a motoring enthusiast all my life. My Coupe 4 is rare and very special. A real performance car with all-wheel drive grip. I'm not a car club bloke and I don't work on it myself, but I do have a great mechanic. One day, I might even get that HQ. When it comes to insurance, it's got to be Shannon's. Shannon shares your passion. Call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. When it comes to cars, there are some brands that will remain with us forever, no matter what. The Holden was always Australia's own car, held high in the hearts of many. Those lines, that chrome, the stories around them and the people that owned them. From the classic through to the final, you can still trust in genuine Holden and AC Delco parts, available through the Holden Certified Service Network. In 2023, why not consider a Detroit tour with Fletch? Detroit, the automotive epicenter. It will leave you gobsmacked. Imagine experiencing where automotive history on a grand scale began. Stay in fine accommodation, taking in some of the best museums and private car collections on the planet. Limited spaces available, book now. 2023 Detroit Tour with Fletch. Or if you want to hold up the traffic, maybe you should buy one of these. Check this out, a splitty. Beautifully restored, nice looking vehicle. Got some nice wide tyres on there. Thing looks good, sits well. These actually ran from 1950 through to 1967. And almost one and a half million of these splitties were made during that time. As you can see, it has been restored nicely. Uh, new upholstery in the front there, nice seats. The doors, you can still, uh, a little bit hard to open. New door rubbers around there as well. That dash, have a go at it. Wow. That's one thing, you know, when you used to drive this era of vehicle, you could never get too distracted from the instrumentation because, um, there was really nothing there to look at. But you know, these things, they reflect a lifestyle. What was it back in the 50s and 60s by the beach if you didn't see one of these vehicles? And it's the miles they used to do too. Guys, ladies, our senior, that used to drive these back in the 50s might be watching this and remembering these vehicles. The amount of miles they used to do up and down the coast. They did it, I don't know how, but they did. 
There's just so much element of cool. Luggage rack, once again on the top. In this case, a couple of bags there, one on this side. The green tartan one, which kind of matches the era perfectly. Little things like the flowers hanging down off the rear view mirror. Into the hippie era here, when life was different. A controversial time in Australia. Times of change kind of went along with the combi at that same rate of pace. Again, the variety here at Shannon's, at a Shannon's auction. That's, uh, that's the thing that gets you as soon as you walk through that door. And of course, I've got to pick on this car here, Model A. Uh, it's a personal favourite of mine as well. I think the, the Model A is such a dramatic change from the Model T. It actually solidified Ford back in the day um, as a world-class automobile maker. The Model A's ran from 1927 through to 1932. Around 4.8 million of these were built. The first year also for the Ford V8, back in the Bonnie and Clyde era. These things went, they could move. I know you're going to laugh, but they had a top speed of around about 75 miles an hour. Some guys might question that, but uh, that's what they could do. Keep in mind, if they ever did 75 miles an hour, if the roads back then would have allowed them to, they were in a brand new state-of-the-art vehicle. I love the Model A's because of the, uh, the wire wheels. What a cool looking roadster these cars were. And apparently the Model A's were available with timber spoke wheels. They, they, they were available, but uh, primarily the wire wheel option uh, was the most common for these cars. And not taking anything away from the Model T, the Model T was the model that put America on wheels, uh, if not other parts of the world as well. The little embellishments here on the glass and the reflective shields here on the doors, just very opulent, beautiful, more sumptuous interior, uh, a better padded seat, and also too, a feature of the Model A, the front screen came forward and when it did, it put air, fresh air from the outside, down behind the dash, down towards your feet. So I guess, you know, a, uh, a first form of in-car ventilation happened with this model as well. And of course, because of the dicky seat in the back, well, where's your trunk? Where's your boot? Well, the Model A uh, came with this uh, handy box out the back mounted on a chrome rack. We see also on top of the guards here, we've got the, uh, the little uh, footrests there to put your feet on as you climb up into the dicky seat. And of course, we come down the sweeping rolling fenders and into the running boards. What I love about this too, how proud was Ford back in the day? Smack bang in the middle of the running board, you had the, uh, the solid alloy plate with Ford embossed in the centre. Of course, the spare wheel. You wouldn't think that a necessity became such a feature because I think that's class all day long with the wheel in there. So Model A, pretty cool car. And of course, in the early 30s, it was an era of opulence as well. And there were other cars as well. Of course, we had the Packards and the Duesenbergs and real high-end cars. But I think value, uh, bang for the buck, for the, the Model A, uh, you got some nice bright work as well. The mesh on the grille, this beautiful hood ornament, the headlights look sensational. Imagine having one of these in the United States of America, around 1928, 1929, 1930, and driving away from your local garage. The dealerships, I think dealerships just started around about that time. A lot of new cars were sold from garages prior to official dealerships. So a very interesting era of car. An absolutely gorgeous car, fourth month 79 Lincoln. This car is amazing. It's like near new condition. And apparently uh, it's from Iowa, in the United States of America. And a low mileage car. It's attention to detail. The way the car is finished, these Lincolns are really something out of the box. Now, being a fourth month 79 car, the significance of 79 for Lincoln is that it was the last year of the full size car. So virtually the last 10 years prior to that, it kept, it retained the same full size body. Whereas Chrysler and General Motors tamed things down after 1976. So that's why these Lincolns in 79, in my opinion, are quite significant. They are the most incredible vehicle to drive. 
they're just absolutely beautiful. It's not about hooking them into corners or anything like that. It's about from getting from point A to point B, unstressed, in comfort, and just so much style, it just goes out the door all day long. There's so much finesse involved here. Have a go at the interior. That red leather is just amazing. Pitch yourself on the market today to get yourself a new car with that equivalent interior. There's a challenge for you. In 79, they went down from the 460 to the 400 cube V8. That's all about torque with these things. They've got a, uh, a heavy duty mains in the 400. Uh, it's like a 351 on steroids really, but because of the torque uh, and a tall diff, the 400 does a beautiful job in these Lincolns. Interesting to see the clock still working, Cartier clock. Uh, apparently they're renowned for durability in these Lincolns. Uh, the electric clocks are usually the first things that stop working in these classic cars. An incredible example of an original car. We have uh, 15 inch wheels as well, and the half vinyl roof. The way the doors open and close is just astounding. It's like as though they bounce out at you, and to close is just an effortless exercise. Also, the era of the five mile an hour bump into the car in front of you was uh, well underway by 79. The bumper bars went in, small impacts. Pretty cool with the Lincoln, because this beautiful, well, I guess, almost a Rolls-Royce style grill, what happens there? Well, with Lincoln, they thought of everything, because if the bar comes in too far, so does the grill. Okay, time for a little perspective of size. We're looking at a two-door car just under 20 feet long, six metres in the metric. It's one of the longest noses on any American car built. From the windscreen to the front of the clip is 1.8 metres, six feet. It's enormous, but it all, you know, it's synonymous with Lincoln and the luxury ride. And with a nose that long, it just means that the front of the car arrives at your destination about 10 seconds before you do. When I was a kid, I loved cars, still do. The 57 Cadillac Eldorado Brougham was the most advanced car in the world. Cost more than a Rolls. Hand built with a stainless steel roof, cruise control, electric seats, and would you believe, air suspension. American iron. It's a passion Shannons understand. That's why they ensure my daily drive, the caddy, my bike, even the house. Call Shannons on 13 46 46. Shannons, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. They may not be making the classic Holden anymore, but the legacy lives on. You can still have a Holden certified service using genuine Holden and AC Delco quality parts at over 180 centres across Australia. Go to holden.com.au to find your nearest centre. Book your Holden in, maintain the pride. And if you own a classic, or you're about to, make sure it's insured with Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote and a chat on 134646. And the Shannon's Club awaits you. For more information, visit shannons.com.au. Moving on through this Shannon's episode here in Brisbane, Queensland. How are you, Harry? I'm going good, Fletch. How are you? Good, thanks, mate. Now, you're a representative for Shannon's. Tell us what you do. Yeah, so I'm one of the auction sales advisors here. So essentially all the cars that you saw in the showroom in there, um, I'm one of the people that's in charge of getting them in and getting them sold, getting all the history around them. So, yeah, that's basically my day today. We discovered that Harry had... A late model classic car out in the car park. A car that's never been on classic restos before. It's a year 2000 Toyota Century. Yes, yes, that's correct. Uh, 2000 Toyota Century, the big ticket item with this, I guess, is that it's the only production Japanese car with a V12. Okay, now before we go any further, I've been looking for one of these for quite a while. I know that there's one uh, kicking around McLean. In, uh, in New South Wales and saw it on the trip up and we get to the Shannon's here in Brisbane and lo and behold Harry has one in the car park. Harry what an incredible car these are. Uh, this comes with uh, chopsticks supplied. You don't need anything else with this car. Yeah, pretty much. It's essentially a VIP Express, I guess is what some people call it. So it's a car that's meant to be driven in yeah. rather than be rather than to drive. Um, it is still quite a nice car to drive. I yeah. drove it down to Byron Bay a couple of weeks ago. I drove it up to Noosa this weekend and yeah, it's just an awesome highway car. Okay, now the competitor to this, we're looking at the Nissan 
And that's the president, isn't it? Yes, that's correct. Uh, the president didn't have a V12, it had a 5 litre V8. So we go back to the Nissan with the president, and that's a 5 litre V8. And so these guys here at Toyota have gone 5 litre, but hey, let's do a V12. Yes, exactly. It, the performance is there, but it's mainly for smoothness, really. When the engine's running, you can't even feel it. It's, yeah. it's, it's pretty amazing. Harry, first of all, the paint is so smooth. Good depth there in the paint. Beautiful paint job. You said that it's a little bit dirty. Well, you know, that's, um, I could imagine what it's like when it's, uh, when it's washed. It's beautiful. Have a look at the doors and the interior of this car. This would have to go down, I think, as the most sensational Japanese vehicle I've ever seen. Yeah, I think that's a pretty fair thing to say. Um, these were, you know, top of the game, top of the Toyota range, above even Lexus in their in their lineup, and they still make them too. Were they really for the domestic market, or were they they aimed at presidential? It was really for the Japanese market. So it was for you know politicians, CEOs, people like that. There were a handful that got sent to other countries for you know Japanese ambassadors in different countries, uh, but vast majority of them stayed in Japan. They've got to be a good car, obviously boasting the Japanese refinement. Uh, the interior quality is, is superb. I love the bit of stainless steel on the doors there. Um, you've got more switches there than if you're driving some type of rocket. Yeah. It's uh, the, the A380 class of, uh, of the Japanese motor car, isn't it? Yeah, it's got really everything you need, especially for what is now a 23-year-old car. Yeah. You never really pick it. It's got everything you need, really. In the passenger seat, there's a hole there where you can put your feet through, right? Yeah, so in the rear left seat, I guess that's what you call the VIP seat, you can fold down the front section of the uh, front passenger seat and stick your feet through, have a bit of a nap. There is a curtain option with the car. Is it, you got the curtains with this car? Yeah, so I've got curtains on the side and rear windows. Uh, another option you can get lace in the same material as the curtains, yeah. seat doilies. Yes. I didn't quite go that far, but uh, when I got the car, it came with the curtains. Yeah. So. But keep in mind, year 2000, well, all car manufacturers were well on their way for clever stuff by that time, weren't they? Yeah, exactly. And I mean, this thing has been nothing but reliable, really. It is a Toyota at the end of the day. I've had a few little niggles that you get with any 23-year-old car, but yeah, it's been nothing but reliable as a daily driver. So, Harry, how many, to your knowledge, are in Australia? If, if you want to go and buy one, what's the procedure? Yeah, so in terms of numbers in Australia, I believe it'd be somewhere around 100 or just yeah. over. All right, Harry, well, congratulations. Uh, I'm really blown away by this car. As I said, it's the first time I've got up close and personal with one of these high-end Japanese cars like this. And when I'm talking high-end, we are really at the top here. So uh, keep up your great work, and uh, it's been wonderful having a chat with you, Harry. Yeah, thanks, Fletch. The Shannon's experience through my eyes and how I feel about where I work, um, I love where I work essentially. I mean, if you look around us, I don't see how you can't love coming to work in an office like this. The procedure if someone wants to come in and look at a car that they want to buy at auction, we do only online auctions, at least at this point in time. One of the fantastic things I think about the way we run auctions is that the doors are open throughout the week. So people can come in, you don't have to call up, make a booking or anything like that. You can come in if you've got some time free, have a look around, have a coffee, have a chat to us about cars. The procedure, once you find something that you do want to bid on, um, obviously you can come in and have a look at the vehicle. If, you, if you're if you not able to do that, there's other ways around there. So we upload, for cars, it's normally around sort of between 40 to 50 photos online, uh, including underbody photos. So we try and be as transparent as we can with that. If not, we do have, we can essentially FaceTime people. Even if you can't look at a car in person, it's probably the next best thing. Um, once you have a look at that, we have mechanical inspection reports uploaded online as well and we also have videos taken of each car. Once you're happy with that, uh, basically just hang tight until auction day. Make sure you register to bid uh, beforehand. And yeah, once you're online, it's a fairly simple process. You can see what the bidding's up to. Um, place your bid and hopefully win a car or a bike. Fletcher's shown you guys a couple of things around the showroom here today. But if any of you do want to come in and have a look for yourself, we're at 107 Fison Avenue West, Eagle Farm, Queensland. Uh, we're right near the airport, so it's nice and easy even for interstate travellers. And yeah, come on in. We'd love to see you guys. Well, I hope you've really enjoyed this week's episode of Classic Restos. Just a sample of what to expect when you choose to purchase a vehicle from a Shannon's auction. For more information, visit shannons.com. Au. Until next week, no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch. Thanks for watching.
you can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannons, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannons Club, your local Holden certified service centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online.